ओके सो नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल विच स्टार्ट विथ इंडेक्सिंग एंड स्लाइसिंग एन एरे ओके सो जस्ट लाइक अ लिस्ट यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई अ स्लाइस फॉर ईच डिमेंशन ऑफ द एरे एन इंडेक्सिंग इज ऑल्सो सिमिलर टू अ लिस्ट यू नीड टू स्पेसिफाई एन इंडेक्स फॉर ईच लेवल ऑफ द एरे सो लेट्स टेक एन एरे ओके ए is equal to np dot array into brackets i'll make a list of list okay so i'm making a list of four lists each list i'm making uh with four variables in it there you go so i've made an array of this sort okay so in this the fourth list has a last element which is a um, float float variable okay now again this uh, this thing is there which is telling me undefined name np why is it saying undefined name np the reason is that i have not imported numpy in the program so import numpy as np and that error is going to go away okay so i've created an array let's take a look at it print a and yep everything is good it's a float array dots have been added everywhere okay so we are good to go now what is the shape of this array okay i think you guys can see it if you want you can pause it think what the shape is and then when you want pause it i will run this program which says that the shape is 4 4 there you go now um let us slice this array okay okay i think before slicing it we need to still do a couple of more things so first let's see how many dimensions are there in this array okay uh obviously there are two dimensions in this array rows and columns okay and now i want you to go back to what we understood yesterday okay it will give us a clue about indexing okay so there is um by yesterday i mean in the previous session of course so <laughs> so uh, you have to go and you have to let's say i want 5 okay 5 is in row 0 1 2 3 so it's in row 1 and column 0 1 2 so it's in column 1 so to access 5 i have to do a 1 comma 1 assuming this array's name is a if i want to access 9 okay it's in row 0 1 2 two. so 2 two, and column 0 1 2 so 2 so to access 9 it's 2 comma 2 if i want 10 then i have to go in column uh row 0 1 2 3 and column 0 so 3 0 so that's how i access the variables of this array now let's go back to this this array that we have got okay so uh, in order to access um, uh, to print out minus 11 okay what index should i put okay so uh, i will obviously do print a something and something there are two dimensions i need to add two values to this rectangle so pause the video think for a bit what should be the answer and then come back and unpause it okay there so now we'll discuss the answer 11 is in row 0 1 2 okay it's in the third row whose index is 2 and it's in column 0 1 and 2 so again 2 so if i put print a2 uh and 
in in this fashion okay is going to give me minus 11 there you go <coughs> so this is how you index an array okay the number of dimensions are there you specify a, a index for each dimensions and you're good now I've added a few more challenges for me in this um, uh, program, but there's another way you can index also. If I do print a rectangular bracket 2 comma 2, it's still going to give me the same output that is minus 11. There you go. Okay, so that is that. If I put print 2 comma 3, what is the output that is going to give me? 0, 1, 2, that is the third row. 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's going to give me 12. There you go. Minus 11 and 12. Right? So, this is a different method that we have used now let's go on to slicing if i want to print out second to fourth row of this array how will i go about it now remember that this is very similar to list slicing that we have learned okay so if i want to print out see there are four rows one two three and four okay how do i print out second to fourth row i don't want the first row okay so the way i'll print it out is i'll go and print okay a rectangular brackets now uh, i will not start from zero so i will start from row one till the end okay so i'll leave it blank row one till blank and all columns so blank blank okay so comma here i have to specify from which column to which column i want all the four columns to be there so i'll do from blank till blank okay if i run this here you see the output i'm getting row two row 3 and row 4 okay so that's how it is i can also instead of uh, uh, blank i can put row 4 out here it's still going to give me the same output okay now if i want to print second and third row okay then this index will change I want to start from the second row. So, 0, 1. Okay. Then 2 and 3. So, if I want to go from second to third row, I have to go from 1, where I want to start from, till 3, which is the next value of where I want to end. Remember that when you are index slicing, the second value, the till value has to be the next value of your this thing. So this will give second and third row that is 5, 6, 7, minus 8 and then the 9 to 12 voila row which is there. So this was slicing for the rows. Now let's, I want to print out second to fourth element of each row. Okay. So this is each and every row. Okay. I want to print 2, 3 and 4, 6, 7, minus 8. 10, 11, minus 10, minus 11, 12. So, these three elements of each row are the ones that I want to print out. Okay. So, how will I do that? Just pause the video, think about it a bit and then come back. I'm putting the solution here. So, now I want all the rows 1, 2, 3, 4 but I'm restricting columns. I only want 2, 3 and 4 columns. Okay. So, from blank to blank, comma, from the second column, which has index 1, to 4 is the last, so to blank, okay, if I do it this way, it's going to give me the required output, that is 
टू थ्री फोर सिक्स सेवन माइनस एट टेन इलेवन माइनस टेन माइनस इलेवन ट्वेल्व सो जस्ट थ्री कॉलम्स आउट हियर दैट इज द सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ कॉलम जस्ट लाइक वॉट वी डिड हियर अबाउट ओके सो आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड स्लाइसिंग यू कैन प्ले अराउंड विथ योर ओन प्रोग्राम लेट ऑन एंड लर्न स्लाइसिंग अ मॉ नाउ लेट्स डू स्लाइसिंग विथ जम्प्स लाइक वी डिड विथ लेस एंड टपल्स ओके so now i want uh, to print every alternate value of all rows okay i want to print every alternate value of all rows okay so basically i want minus 1 then 3 Then five and seven, then minus seven, minus eleven, and thirteen and fifteen. How do I do that? Again, it's very simple. If you understood slicing earlier, you would have understood this. So I want all the rows, okay? But I only want alternate columns. So for rows, I'll put uh, from blank to blank. For columns, I want from first column, so that is a blank, okay? Like from the start. till the end okay so again blank and in steps of 2 okay so if i do this way okay it's going to give me every alternate value of each row so you see 1 3 minus 1 3 5 7 9 11 13 15 <laughs> similarly if i want every alternate value of each column right so now i want a uh, column 1 minus 1 9 then uh, 2 10 then 3 minus 11 and 4 and minus 12 every alternate value right now how do i do that is simple i want all the columns but i want alternate rows so i will start from the starting i want starting to ending all rows but in jumps of 2 and i want all columns from start to end so if i print it this way okay again there is a syntax error cuz i have not specified the array and the rectangular brackets so there we go and this is going to do it so i've got all the alternate uh, rows right so it's the first row and the third row there you go right the middle two columns have been omitted so this is how you slice a numpy array now the next concept is very interesting i want you guys to pay utmost attention okay so we learned indexing so now we can slice the array through integer indexing okay okay so now this is a reference array okay this one okay now from this i have to select which 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 variables i want from which which rows so for rows the indexes are 0 1 oh sorry 1 2 and 3 right that covers all the rows for columns now from the first row i want 3 okay so that is 0 1 and 2 so that index i'll put here okay that is 2 from the next column i want 6 okay so 0 and 1 so i'll put that here from the third column i want minus 11 okay uh from the third row i want minus 11 okay which is in the third column so 0 1 2 so i'll put 2 here again right and from the last row the fourth row i want 16.45 which is in the fourth column so 0 1 2 3 so i'll put 3 okay so this i've got the indexes that i want to uh uh slice i want the slice of this array okay so what i have to do is array 
array 2 a2 is equal to a and I have to slice it with these two lists okay each list is a slice of its dimension so this is a row slice and this is a column slice like how we decided okay now if I print a2 it's gonna give me the output that I wanted okay so there is some error here that is showing ah okay I have not put a comma here sorry for that so now when I run this it's going to give me 3, 6, 11, uh, minus 11 and 16.45. The same numbers which I had chosen from this slice. So there you go. A2 is that. So uh, this is how you slice an array through the integer index. So if you know which from which row, which um, column element you want, you can slice it in this fashion and you can proceed. Don't forget to put this comma like we did. So this was about slicing. You can also slice an uh, array through a condition, right? So uh, just for your benefit, I'll print A again out here. Okay. So this last thing, these things are our array A. Okay. Now in this, I want all the numbers okay which are greater than 2 so create a slice of all numbers greater than 2 okay how do I do that so let me first put a condition condition is equal to a greater than okay now um, how do I slice it is uh, a3 okay a new array is equal to a square brackets condition right and now if I print a3 is gonna give me the slice okay uh, there we go so from this okay all the numbers which are greater than 2 have been mentioned here and they have been uh, all of them have been put in a new um, numpy array called a3 okay so this is another this is another way you can index your um, uh, numpy array now in our next video we are going to talk about running mathematical operations on numpy arrays it's going to be a fun video so see you in the next video